Hi and welcome to Lippy Presents Ghost News Network. Today is our question of the week. Tom, you got a question for us. What do you got? So in honor of the 35th anniversary of the original Ghostbusters coming out in theaters, I figured I'd ask a Ghostbusters inspired question. Okay. And which of the original Ghostbusters would you say you most you were most similar to? Oh god, this isn't even a question. <laughs> this is a statement of fact. Uh, I would I would definitely have to say um, Oh shit. Ah oh, damn. It's tough because it's I got this. this. So as somebody who's been dressing up as a Ghostbuster <laughs> Since 2003, I think I have a little bit of uh, strong uh, opinions of the, uh, of the film. But uh, Ray Stance, Dr. Ray Stance, that's somebody who I've grown up admiring, not only the character, but Dan Aykroyd, the actor. And um, definitely he's one of the people that I take inspiration from. Uh, as you can tell, with the way I joke about this off camera, the way I speak fast and things like that, that's something I picked up watching him when I was a uh, kid and all this Saturday Night Live stuff and things like that. But definitely Dan Aykroyd because I think no matter how long I've been doing this, I think I still retain some of that childlike wonder when we have things that happen right. and, and stuff like that. Um, I think the ever-growing knowledge and questioning and coming up with new theories we're constantly putting out there and things like that uh, also adds to it. So for me, it's 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 Dr. Ray Stance. Oh, shit. With me, it's probably... I would say it has to be a mix between like Ray and Venkman. Like, it's got to be a mix. See, if, there was, if, if there was a mixture between those two, that, that's, that's who I would say. And I, I would, for you, I would, I would throw an ego on I would, too, because you, you're always wanting to build and, and stuff. You've got the, the analytical the, the voltage yeah, meter and stuff like more. that. <laughs> he's, he's like, physics. Like, I like, yeah. felt physics. You know, like that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I'm totally banquet. Yeah. Like, he's nerdy enough, but, like, he's like, yo, man, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what does that put you, Tom? What camp are you in? We need more Winstons out there, Dan. Winston! <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, although I do like, you know, the line, if there's a steady paycheck and Bob, I believe anything you tell me. <laughs> I, I, I associate with that, but, um, uh, aside from, uh, and kind of like you said, I think a little combination of, of everybody, but if I had to go to one camp, I would, I would probably say I associate most with, with Ray also. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a, a Ray. Yeah. Yeah. I think most of us that are in this field would probably most relate to him um, just because of, again, you can see the love of the paranormal in the film Ghostbusters right. that comes from the mind of uh, Dan Aykroyd and stuff like that. Like, there's not much difference between Dan Aykroyd and Ray Stance. He still, to this day, talks about the paranormal and talks about UFOs and with with just a sense of wonder, you know, and and the questioning and it's just, yeah, I I definitely could see that. I, I could see, I look at most of this crew and I, I definitely see that that aspect of uh, of Ray Stance and a little bit of everyone. So, but then you've got you know some of us that are in. Trevor. Trevor is probably our closest to Egon, yeah, yeah. and uh, but probably a little Winston too. <laughs> Hans Hansen would be Winston. Oh, 100%. <laughs> and, and I think everyone's got a little Bankman. You know, Bankman had the, uh, the was the the skeptic of of the group. So right. you know, you could argue right. that everyone has a little of that skepticism, and that came from that aspect too. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. be any character or be Slimer. <laughs> <laughs> Go around eating everything. I think it's just like. Blast people with green slime. Like how often? Until that? you meet three people that put you in a little box mm -hmm. and show you on a container. They get out. They, get out. <laughs> they drives a bus in the second one, so yeah. that's cool. Isn't there a girlfriend too? <laughs> that's in the. That's we don't the talk about that's that. The third one. one. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, that is the third that, one. That's yeah. that's, that's the Ghostbusters. That's porn. the that's no. The, <laughs> no, that's the um, that's the reboot. That's the 2016 oh. Feed version. There's a oh. female who is actually voiced by Robin Shelby, who played Slimer in Ghostbusters 2. Shout out to Robin. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Fun fact. 
So, good stuff. All right, guys. So, what do you think? If you were to compare yourself to a Ghostbuster, what camp do you fall in? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you haven't yet, give this video a like, share, and subscribe. But you can also continue to follow us by clicking the little notification bell to know when all of our content is being uploaded to YouTube. So, thank you guys very much for joining us on this latest edition of Ghost News Network. And until next time, take care, guys. Ready?